So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your third React Native tutorial in which I'm gonna go over through basic file system and how React actually organizes its files so that it's easier to work for you later on with the application folder structure and all that stuff. So let's get into it. Alright, so coming to the file structure, what we have right here for React Native is that if we see something like this, if we start from the top, you would see that we have two folders, which is Android and iOS. Now, these are basically the only folders you would spend most of your time in, right? Because um, Android consists of the files which are used to build the application for Android platform. And similarly, on the similar basis, iOS is used. You can see these all these Xcasset files if you are coming from an Xcode background. So these files would be familiar to you. So these are basically the files for the iOS stuff, right? And for Android, you can see that we inside the app, we have build.cradle file, as I told you earlier on. Then inside SRC, we also have the manifest file, which is basically the same thing as if you're working with Android Studio, right? So um, these are the two folders which we'll be looking all along the series. So I'm just going to skip over them right now. And coming to node modules, obviously, because it's running on JavaScript, we can have our additional modules with us, and which would be installed inside the node modules folder. And once the app is compiled, then all of that stuff would be basically just managed by React. You do not need to worry about that. Then comes the Babel RC file, which is just the file consisting of one line for now, it just sets the preset to React Native. Nothing fancier here. Then this is bug config file. Um, this is not really required um, because um, this is there's a system called bug build, something used by Facebook. But we are not gonna make use of this, um, so we do not need really need to know what's going on with this file, right? So same on a similar basis, this is flow config file. Then we have the Git files, so that you can actually just um, check out your project to a GitHub repository as well. So these are files which would help you. Then again, watchman configuration file. Nothing fancier here. Then comes the app.js file. Right, so app.js file, if you see here, you would see something familiar, right? Now, we, when we would run the application, you would see that basically the things you see here are the ones which you see on the app. So you see that it kind of looks like HTML, but not really. View text um, looks like they are, this is HTML, but it looks like um, we are making use of some native elements, right? Like the view container, the text container, and all that stuff. So we'll come to that later on. Then we have the app.json file, which just consists of the um, name and you know stuff like that related to your application. Pretty handful stuff. So the next thing is index.js, and they basically this is the file which um, is boots which bootstraps your application, right? So this is the first file which React Native enters. So um, yeah, you can see that we are importing the app from here, the same file here. We are importing it into index.js and we are just registering the component with the app, right? Then our package.json is obviously the file which consists of all the dependencies and all that fancier stuff. So that's all for this video, I guess. And file structure is quite simple for React Native not much of things going on so that's all for this video and in the next video i'm going to show you how we can run this dummy project on a real android device for now so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video